Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. And so today we're gonna to talk about uh, weeks five and six of our early pregnancy and just kind of give you my symptoms and what happened. And we did have a little bit of a scare, so we'll watch that and go through that as well. Cravings so far have been none. There have been just a couple of days where I was a little hungrier. I think I said that in the two week wait video as well, where like one day I noticed that I was just a little hungrier. Not for anything specific, just felt a little hungrier a couple of days in those two weeks. Other symptoms though, just lots of like cramping, like PMS, like I feel like I'm about to start my period. And other than that, which I think is just the uterus stretching and growing and just making room. So as long as, long as I feel it, I just keep telling myself, yay, that's okay, it's a good thing. But that's really all I've been feeling is just those cramps. And then in week six, I noticed that in the mornings, I was waking up and having like the calves and lower leg cramps and so far no weight gain yet i am tracking that but not necessarily in a way of like oh my gosh i, I need to lose weight or anything like that just trying to be mindful um but so far no weight gain so i'm checking my little little planner book or kind of journal thing here i'll go over this um too but this is just the one that i found off of amazon that i like so in week five we did have a scare on my five week three day mark which was a saturday we were gonna go home that day and tell our grandparents that we were pregnant and it was just very scary. So I will insert that um, video here. So I'm a little scared. Um, we're supposed to be leaving to go to Amarillo and I woke up and I started bleeding this morning. So I'm trying to keep it together and my husband and I are both thinking the same thing and we're just not wanting to say it out loud just scared right now I called the doctor the nurse finally called me back after an hour and said that it's very common for women especially who's going through IVF to have a subchorionic hematoma we hope that that's what this is um, she said that we could go in and do an ultrasound and blood work um, but it's still so early we wouldn't even be able to see or hear a heartbeat even anyway so i was looking in the what to expect app and lots of women were saying the same thing at five weeks two days five weeks three days um that they started bleeding and that's what it was so i'm hoping that that's the same thing i hope that i'm not losing this little one already just praying a lot and hoping for the best um put it in god's hands he's got this and he's got us we decided to go ahead and go to amarillo we're supposed to be going and telling our grandparents that we're <laughs> that we're pregnant we're gonna go ahead and go and we have a doctor's appointment in a week anyways to for our first ultrasound so i'm not cramping i don't feel bad other than i just started bleeding so i'm hoping that it's okay i'm gonna finish getting ready and keep you posted so I'm not quite sure how I held that all together that day because I was just so terrified and just nervous and I just tried to remain as calm as I could. Lots and lots of praying going on that day while we were driving to Amarillo. So I did bleed the rest of the morning. I finally stopped in the afternoon once we got there. I never had any cramping, nothing like that. So I wasn't too worried. I did call the doctor Monday and let them know and they said, as long as you're not cramping, we're not gonna worry about it. It's normal going into our ultrasound because we did have an ultrasound that next Monday at my six week mark. They did confirm that it is a subchorionic hematoma. That's very common with IVF pregnancies apparently. Um, you can get them with, with regular natural pregnancies but very common with IVF. So again, I'm not a doctor but the best way that it made sense to me is that basically the embryo goes and whenever it attaches to your uterus, it kind of creates like this pocket and sometimes it can be like filled up with blood. Usually it heals on its own and you never even notice it. Sometimes it does cause bleeding, but it should heal on its own. So she said, it's nothing to worry about. And she even told me, she was like, do not go home and Google this, but, and she didn't realize at the time that we had already had a scare. So in that week six appointment at the doctor, we did get to see that ultrasound. So I'll insert that clip here of the heartbeat, which was the best sound in the whole world. Hey guys. We are going to see the first ultrasound, um, get to see our baby. So, so far we've just had the blood work testing and saying, yes, you're pregnant, yay. 
today is when it gets real. We hopefully get to hear and see a heartbeat and oh my gosh, my stomach is just like going crazy. All those little butterflies just like doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, So I'm just nervous and I'm excited and I just hope everything goes good. I hope they'll let me film this. Sometimes they won't and it just I guess depends on the person I get. So I'm hoping that she'll let me film today because I want to have this documented waiting for my husband to get here because thankfully he gets to come in with me and see this. So. I think you'll need to take a deep breath and hold it. Okay. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty exciting, huh? 123 beats per minute. Oh my gosh. So that is it guys. Um, just a quick one. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick update on my weeks five and six symptoms and how I was feeling and our little scare. And then the best part about it was just getting to hear the heartbeat finally. So far so good. And thank you guys so much for praying for us and for our little baby. And just know that I am praying for you guys. All of you that are commenting and saying, you know, you're going through the same stuff. I pray for you every single day. So do keep me posted though if you are going through this and you're doing your transfers or your egg retrievals or whichever stage you're at always keep me posted because i do keep praying for you guys so i hope you guys have a wonderful week i will talk to you guys next monday take care and god bless